action. Trina McKenzie Smith, Jackson High School, 20th season. Uh, skill development is extremely important. In the game of basketball, fundamentals are important. And the main thing that you have to be able to do is handle the basketball. That limits your amount of turnovers. What Geno Skills Training does, it is taking our program to the next level. With the regional championship and us advancing to the final four, the, the skills training has helped these young ladies as individual basketball players improve their skills and their knowledge of the game. Okay, my coaching philosophy is, is kind of basic. We pride everything that we do on defense. We like to we like to run up and down the floor and just you know, having young ladies that kind of know their role and try to accept that uh, what we try to do defensively and buying in to what we do defensively and getting them to realize that defense is where we're going to win a lot of our ball games. That's where we're going to score a lot of baskets uh, off of playing defense. But uh, just getting them defensive minded, um, they, they have to be great student athletes and they have to lead by example. What you bring is what you want other people. You want it to rub off on other people. So I come with my own energy. I come with my own passion. I come with my own determination. And I like that to, to roll off on, on the girls, for them to have the same dedication and passion for the game as I do. Women's, I have to say Candace Parker, because she's a complete basketball player. She can handle the ball. She can shoot it. She can defend. She can post people up. My answer will be Candace Parker. They get together and they come up with the goals and the things that, of course, winning the state championship is at the top of the list, but the things that they want to accomplish as a team. And also, they set in on their own individual goals for themselves. And we we'll put them in a sealed envelope. I'll give my, my assistant, I give it to her. She put it somewhere in the office. Nobody knows where it is. And at the end of the year, we come back. She gets the envelope. Make sure, you know, just look at it to see if they accomplish, you know, the goals that they had set for themselves and for their teammates. One, Pat Summit. She, hands down, she's the greatest. Consi her consistency and the passion and what she did at Tennessee is, is, is unbelievable. Um, I say Gino Oriyama next because he's been in the game longer than Dawn Staley. She's in the, in the process of she's getting to the stages to be where Gino is currently uh -huh. because Gino has been in the game long longer than Dawn Staley. That's why I would rank him above uh, Dawn Staley. But she's up and coming. She's up and coming. But I say Pat Summit, Gino Ariyama, Dawn Staley. My inspiration to become a basketball coach, uh, I would say it's, it's my parents. Uh, my parents are my heart. Um, and just watching them growing up, my mom was a was a high school English teacher. And my dad owned his own construction company. But just watching them uh, value family, um, setting leading by example that the uh, value of hard work and being dedicated to something, and uh, all of my coaches that I had in high school and college, just the energy that they brought and how they took the time to help mold you know their student athletes. That was, that was a lot of inspiration uh, for me. Um, i like to thank um, our parents for um, the support that they give our young ladies in the program throughout the year. Um, our active booster club, the Elite Ballers Club, um, my coaching staff, my assistant, Tamiko Taylor, our head boys basketball coach, Anthony Hayes. And uh, we just like to thank everybody for the continued support.